day. Welcome back to another video. My name is Bart, and today we'll be doing a lap guide in the FIA 4 car at Virginia International Raceway. Let's get into the hot lap. Okay, so going down the main straight at VAR, just keep it tight to the right-hand side uh, across the uh, finish line next to the pits, just shorten the distance, bring the car over to the left, not exactly straight here, so make sure you're actually on the white line and you're not pointing off into grass or a forest. Uh, braking marker here is you have the one board in this car just before that. Really smack the brake pedal here, like really, really hard. It's uphill braking zone as well, so you can brake a bit uh, more aggressively and a bit later than you think. Um, and it's a bit tricky because the corner does come at you really quickly and we are coming at quite a high speed. But yeah, really efficient on the brakes. Hit the brakes really hard. Hold the brake pressure down to third gear. As you uh, turn in, bleed off quite quickly. Let the car roll into the camber inside this um, darker part of the track here. And then bring the car over to the inside. Sit on this inside curb. I find it rotates the car a bit. You can miss it. It's not the end of the world. I just like sitting the right wheels on it. Um, especially this lower curb, this lower cement curb here. Uh, then get on the it helps you just pick up the throttle a little bit earlier. So just feel the car's hooked up. Pick up the throttle uh, in third and just let the car nicely go out here. Don't scrub the fronts too much and uh, you don't need to be on the edge of the track. I think in any car that's pretty much true at VAR. There's not really any grip out here and it gets quite bumpy later on um, and you end up quite out of position, but just stay in this kind of groove, let's say, just wide of where the rubber is. Um, where that darker part of the track kind of ends in terms of width. Okay. So now bring the car over to the right a little bit. Not all the way because I find that you end up um, turning to this left too late. So we're looking here right now. Uh, we want to meet the start of that uh, entry curb for this uh, left-hander that's coming up. That's kind of your reference for where you want to um, get alongside in the braking zone. Okay. So braking down the fourth gear, you can see just turning in off that point there. Really important to be in early here, I find so easy and so often um, turning in too late into to this corner. Early is always better because there is so much runoff, you can just pick up the throttle and carry the speed. Okay, again, the inside curve can help turn the car a bit. Down the fourth gear, full throttle, get the car straight. Uh, third gear, again. Not a very long break for this corner, similar to the last corner, maybe a little bit more uh, peak pressure initially, then quickly bleed out. So I turn in really early here, get onto the inside curb. Uh, this green and yellow curb, not super important to be on, but the cement curb definitely uh, helps hook the car around to the left. Get the throttle as quickly as you can, carry as much speed as you can through this while still getting um, into a position where you can take this double right flat. That's kind of the challenge here. How fast can I go through this left-hand corner? while still keeping the next bit flat because that's how it's going to go with the straight. 
And when I say flat, you don't want it like full throttle and you're hacking like crazy, right? Um, I mean flat, but just about keeping it in control. So that's just going to take a bit of uh, practice to get used to, but it's huge for your lap time in this section. And a big part of being able to carry good speed here and also uh, being smooth on the wheel is uh, rolling good speed in and keeping the car tight to this curb and inside the camera on the left-hand side of the track here. Okay, so you can see full throttle, holding full throttle, just about having to lift out like 5% there. Just slightly, maybe carried a little bit too much speed, but keeping the momentum up. Just managing it so I don't go over this left curb. Use all the track, smoothly turn to here. The car likes to understeer, initially turning quite well, then understeer away with the camber there. Um, just be really smooth in the middle now with this section. Not too much going on, it's all full throttle. Um, you don't have to go on any unnecessary bumps or curves or take any extra distance. Um, but yeah, just be smooth with the wheel. Okay, so positioning for the, this quick uh, left is coming up. Make sure we're all the way on the right-hand side of the track. And now this is just a lift in six in this car. Uh, key here is just being in fairly early, as early as possible without cutting the inside. If you go on the grass here, it will understeer quite a bit. Um, you will probably survive, but you just end up quite far out in the exit. As you can see, it's kind of higher and it's almost off camera and it'll throw the car off. Um, so if we can just try and take as much curve as possible and hook the car on the curb, um, that's ideal. Pick up the throttle as you get the car rotated on the curb. Should force the car out to the right hand side of the track. Use all this exit curb. Bring the car back down to the left. Braking reference for this. Yes, you've got these boards on the left. My reference is always once you get over this hump. You don't really want to brake on this hill here because you can't brake efficiently. So you want to brake just after it. Um, you can see braking at the two board just after that crest. I'm turning a little bit, just a little bit. Really just to start the brakes, just kind of um, pointed in and then try and keep it straight for this section. So we've got um, the car facing in a way so our right wheels are going to uh, be right next to this inside curb. Really tricky corner, this double right. Uh, you want to roll quite a bit of speed while still being late on the brakes and having good exit, obviously, as well. Uh, I'd say the general problem is people break too, uh, break, break too early. Um, and then they find themselves too slow in the middle and then they're on throttle too early or they're too tight and it really hurts your exit and you end up doing a lot of fighting the wheel and turning out the corner you don't really want to do that and then when people go oh, okay i've got to go later they go late but they don't brake well enough and they get the car upset on the curb and stuff like that so it's quite tricky so i'd say main things here uh, main piece of advice i can give is like i said break off this crest brake really efficiently initially so quite a bit of brake pressure you can see i hit about 60 70 percent brake pressure there right um, down to fourth gear in the straight line then bleed out as you're turning in really manage the brake so we're not holding too much brake yet otherwise the car won't turn uh, through the right and you'll also over slow the car as well and be dragged out too wide on the left side of the track I want to be about just this wide you can go onto the curb definitely there but it's not as grippy I find um, off the brake at this point turn the car rotate into the corner early throttle pick up you can 100 percent run over this inside curve as well 100 percent. that's no problem uh it, it's potentially not ideal because it can bounce a little bit but it can also help turn the car as well as it doesn't cost you too much on the exit so uh not a big problem if you do hit the inside curve i'd rather you just be on throttle early here and then let the car run out using all this uh, astro turf on the exit and just keeping the car in a straight line and kind of gently leaning towards the right hand side of the track here again showing the distance stay on the right hand side of the track uh, the next left right coming up is quite tricky really heavy braking zone down to third gear um, down to third and hardest part about this corner apart from the fact you just can't see it so it's going to take a bit of practice if you're not used to var or just haven't driven it in this car um, I myself took me a few laps and I've done a few laps in this car before so it's quite tricky just the nature of it like I said being blind and also the fact it's it's a combined braking corner so it means you've got a combined load on the tire of steering and braking at the same time and being able to manage that's quite tricky it's easy to snatch a front lock up or unsettle the car in general so best advice I can give for that is we want to try and maximize different parts of the braking zone on entry to this corner okay so when we get it straight, we want to be very efficient on the brakes. And when we turn, we want to, we want to definitely come out of the brakes. So 
so you can see here first thing i do is i point the car in before i hit the brakes this is useful because it means i can straighten up the wheel just a fraction so you can see i've got a little bit of lock on now i just take a little bit off there a little bit off as i hit the brake pedal i'm just trying it's really hard but i'm just managing it a little bit like can i get like a few degrees like five degrees steering lock off as i hit the brakes hard here uh just trying to be really efficient at this point you see about 80 85 90 percent brake pressure but not for very long um as i'm gonna have to turn through the left as I have to turn through here, and as the road kind of rises, because um, you want to keep this, you want to keep the car tight left and next to where this curb is. Uh, we've got to come out of the brake, so that's the next part of the corner. Really efficient on the brakes, then you've got to start bleeding out as you start turning the car through the left. And you can see as I get it over to the left-hand side next to the curb on the white line here. As I get the car straight, I'm going to actually go back up on the brake pressure. And that's just because, again, we've got to maximize what we have. So I've got this nice little bit of the braking zone now that's, uh, that's straight again. So I've got the car flat where I want it, and I can hit a bit more brake pressure and slow it down. So it's all about that whole managing, like I said, and maximizing different parts of the braking zone. So can we just point the car in before we brake so we can get a little bit of lock off, and then we've got to bleed out as we're rotating it, and then get a little bit more brake pressure on as we straighten up again. Okay, bleeding out down to third gear. I really like this curb. Definitely use it, really helps put the car up. Um, carrying speed through here is worth a lot of that time. Um, third gear, early throttle, use all be forced to use all the track ideally. Smoothly out to the right hand side. Turning really early here. You, it's hard to get off tracks here, you have to really cut. Very, very hard on the grass here. Uh, but the lap time gain from really abusing the curves, and I find the car now is also very happy on this setup to be thrown over the curves. Okay, as long as the car's straight. It'll work well. So, in fifth gear, I'm just lifting here, just lifting to get the car left. And you can see how much curve we're taking. This is, you know, what I would call realistic curve abuse in a car like this. So, we got the floor, the plank over um, this crest in the road, this crest in the curb. Um, and it's really going to help us open up the last corner. So, really important to attack it like this. Really fun corner as well, bit of a roller coaster. Get the car flat. So, you can see I've got it straight, um, despite being a blind corner, just going over a massive curb. Just after that, I've got the car. This beautiful little straight bit coming up here. And that allows me just to touch the brake and just settle the car and get good rotation for this right. And you know, for this corner, you can again run on the inside curve. I, I kind of find that on this one, I'm um, touching the grass inside will throw you off a little bit. So if you just get hooked onto this right hand curve like this, this is kind of more ideal. Um, but yeah, the positioning is all about getting all over this left, uh, being late to turn in and getting all over this curb to get this nice straight flat little zone here. While we open up the corner, just have a nice soft break earlier will help you get on the throttle early and carry more speed on the straight. So an early soft break. Um, don't be braking as you're kind of turning into the corner. It really hurts your exit and you feel like, oh, it's, you know, I've overslowed the car. So a nice little break there. That allows us to pick up the throttle as we hit the curve. And the car nicely just drifts out to the left-hand side of the track. Really difficult, but really fun corner. And then just bring the car over to the right-hand side of the track. Shorten the distance as much as possible. And that's the end of your lap at VIR. Okay, so that brings us to the end of the video. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And you can also check out the Coach Dave Academy Discord in the video description. See you next week.